We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane t -Marts, we'll look after you. Five action in the MPL and South Melbourne travel to take on Richmond and Johnny after a week of cup football last week South Melbourne fielding their regular starting 11 once again. That's right David and uh, we had a lot of young players playing in the cup game the other week and we had a comfortable 10 0 win against Keysborough. League action resumes and it's going to be another difficult test against the newly promoted opponent in Richmond, a team who we've played against in the past and had a mixed bag of results here at Kevin Bartlett Reserve. Let's see how the action takes us. Getting that one from Fashini. Now he gives it to Schroen. That's a nice ball. Opens the defence up and the shot's been turned in, but it won't stand. Offside was the call. Flagged early there by the assistant referee. The Ajoran up front. He's big and strong and he's kept his feet really nicely there. It's an opportunity here for Barker Daish out to the left. Richmond through Flynn. Ball played in and misses everybody. Clean bowls the Richmond runners. Dangerous ball there, Flynn giving a chance early for the home side. Tim Marler cuts that one off with ease. Now Eager out on the left. High long ball, Epifano. He's got Luyic and Theodore. Epifano turns it, it's bobbled, it's gone in, it's an own goal. South Melbourne have the lead. Early in the game, the work came from Epifano. It was a nice ball out to him. He turned onto his left foot. I'm sure he was looking for Lujic with that. I'm pretty sure that took a huge deflection into the keeper, into the net. I think you're right, David, but it was still a good goal for South to score. Nice long ball over the top from Eager at centre back to Epifano, who's always dangerous in this position. You're not sure what he's going to do. He uh, he cuts inside there on his left foot. He goes for the shot. It takes a massive deflection off the centre back, Ruda, and goes past the goalkeeper, Tapia, and into the back of the net. South leading 1 0. Sheeney pinpoints that one. And Epifano, clever ball out wide. Here's Bradley Norton. Good space for Norton. And I'm not sure if that was a misplaced cross or a very, very near shot. Norton apologising. I think he might have been intending that one for Lujic. Flynn tries to step over a couple of times, but in the end, Matt Miller gets the better of him. And that pass wasn't intended there, but it goes straight to Schroen. And now it's opened up for Miller. Flag stays down. Matt Miller charging through here. Brand comes across. He's gone down. A couple of shouts for a penalty. But in truth there, I think he might have gone down a little bit easily against Brand, John. Another opportunity for South Melbourne here. Uh, unfortunately, it's for South Miller. Doesn't pull the trigger when he should. Brand is uh, putting enough pressure on him. And eventually, Richmond escape. On the right, near Joran. It's proving quite difficult for the South defenders at the moment. He's got huge size and uh, here's an opportunity for them again. Ball played in towards the middle and that one's just cleared away. That was a very near miss there. Oh, the South defence all at sea for a moment there. Schroen to Mahler. Now for Sheeney. Another opportunity. They've looked dangerous on the left-hand side all night. Norton puts the cross in. And that one dribbles wide again. That one probably a bit more on target from the last one, but not reaching the intended man. Miller, south with a possibility on the counter-attack, but it comes straight back in like a pinball machine. Now Hamlet Armenian, very experienced at this level, Hamlet Armenian, patient in the build-up. Gives it off in the end, he might get it back. Ball comes in towards the middle, and it's off the upright. Oh dear me, Nia Joran made a decent connection and South, they should have conceded there, John. Well, Nia Joran has been dangerous all, all night so far and he's, that's a powerful header, which beats Wiganovic all ends up. But luckily for South, it hits the crossbar and stays out. On to the left and Epifano. Looks like he was interfered with. Well, the players stop, but the Richmond players have taken the ball away. Nia Joran, dangerous here for South Melbourne. Nia Joran waits. Looks, watches, goes to the byline, cuts it back in, it's gone and it's 1-1. Flynn with the final touch, space in the six yard box. A bit of controversy in the build up, it looks like Epifano was fouled, but in the end, Richmond cut open the south defence and it is one goal apiece. Well, I must admit, I thought this was a foul on Epifano. Looks like a shirt pull there on Epifano, but nevertheless, you must play to the whistle and south stopping there. Richmond going forward through near Jor, and like I said before, David, he's been dangerous all night. That's a very, very quick and very effective cutback for Flynn, who just blasts that past Raganovic, and it's 1-1 here at KB Reserve. Fashini 
South would want to restore that lead pretty quickly if they can. This man might be the man to do it. Epifano inside, cut out pass for Theodore. Chant, Luic on the turn, he's gone down, it's a penalty. Well, the referee blowing very quickly there, a penalty is given and a yellow card against Brian Brand. Richmond defenders, they are not happy with that decision, John. Well, Brand's very angry here, David. I did feel it was a soft penalty, but let's have a look. Well, this looks like a handball on Luic. There are hands on Luic as he goes down. You see them given, you see them not given. In the end, the spot kick is given to South. Up steps Epifano. And he blasts it into the top right corner. An excellent penalty, no chance for the keeper. Just smashed perfectly. Epp has had a little bit of trouble with his penalties, a couple of scuff ones, but that one, no mistake. Well, that was a brilliant penalty from Epifano. Uh, you know, it's a lucky penalty the South were awarded, but we got given the opportunity and Epifano makes no mistake. Keeper bedding all ends up. Flynn, man who scored Richmond's first. And uh, they might get it back here, no Timmy Marler. The man in the hole and a good ball forward there. Lujic keeps his feet. Milos Lujic, what a goal! Fantastic effort from the big striker. Beautiful strength. There was a lovely ball to him from Timmy Mahler. He out-muscled Ruder, kept his feet with the outside of his right foot, put it across the body of the keeper into the back of the net. Well, there's nothing lucky about this, David. Uh, Milos Lujic uh, scoring his 50th league goal for South Melbourne as well. Out muscles Ruder there, and uh, that's a beautiful finish past the goalkeeper, across him and into the back of the net. A fantastic finish. Great work from Tim Muller to play the ball initially, and a fantastic finish from Milos Lujic. 3-1 to South. Schroen takes it quickly. That might be a good option because there's a chance here. Theodore, opportunity for Matthew Theodore. Good save, tipped over the bar. Great reflexes on that one. And you'd have to say, John, if that had gone in, it might have been just about curtains. You'd imagine it would have been curtains if Matty Theodore had put this one in. And you would imagine Matthew Theodore would put that in. But that is a brilliant save by Tapia at the near post. Theodore should have gone across goals. Instead, he goes for the near post. Keeper makes a great save. Bufano's low and flat throwing. On the goal line, Marcus Schroen was tipped by the keeper. Chance comes back in for Luic, and no, in fact, the flag is up on that one. It's gone out. Fano's corner is low and hard. The ball missed there, and it's gone in. A chance for Lukey Adams getting forward again. On well, the second half now, South Melbourne. Probably a bit fortunate to have the lead they did at the break. But you take it when it comes. Ball goes forward. Chance there, Matthew Miller. Well, the flag is up for offside. Miller wasn't offside in the initial passage of play. It must be against Luic, John. Perhaps a moment of controversy here. Well, this is very interesting. A nice ball from Schroen. And as you can see, Miller clearly onside. Miller Schroen probably just offside. Was he interfering with play? Well, the referee and the linesman have interpreted it that way. And the goal is disallowed. Well, very close call that one for South, John. Arkadesh's corner comes up across the face and that one was nearly headed home by Ruder. I think that was Theodore on the line there who scrambled that one away. Very close call. I think this is a brilliant save off the line from Theodore. He should have scored before half time and on this occasion he prevents South from uh, conceding a goal. That is a nice clearance off the line which bounces off Raganovic and is eventually cleared. Well, that one's chopped off only momentarily though. Schroen wins it back and that's a fortunate ball falling for Epifano. Chance going in there and Miller's header. He just did not get any kind of good connection on that one. It floats harmlessly wide. Ball stays in here for Nia Joran. He's looked really dangerous. Now Barkadesh. Barkadesh for Armenian. Armenian flicks that one in towards the far post. Was that a handball? Oh, jeez, John, I think we might have got out of jail there. That looked very much a handball from Marla. I think Richmond should feel very unlucky. I think that's a clear handball right in front of the referee as well, who waves play on South, really escaping from jail there. Big Brian Brand punches that one long towards Big Nick Neajoran. And he's done well here, gets round eager. Neajoran with the chance, one on one, it's 3-2. Richmond back in this game. They've been threatening for some time now. Michael Eager beaten by Neajoran who tucks it in. And danger signs for South. Well, South's defending has uh, really slackened in the last few minutes. Uh, should have been a handball against Tim Marlow on this occasion. The captain, Michael Eager, uh, not holding off the mark in Neajoran. And eventually Neajoran scores to make it 3-2. Schroen got that from Epifano. And this is some nice play here by South. They need to steady, they need to hold their nerve. They're being challenged here by a fired up Richmond team. Miller gives that out wide eventually. And the cross played in high. Milos Luch is closing. And unfortunately he couldn't get his foot to that one. Maybe should have gone with the left. Well, first change of the night. Perhaps Chris Taylor trying to shore things up in the middle. Matthew Theodore coming off and on comes Steve Hatsikostas. Barkadesh. 
Kokolakis. And it might be an opportunity here near Joran. He gets it back again near Joran. That one's not dealt with entirely clearly there. It's not going to trickle out for a corner. The ball's going to be played back in. Not once, twice. Ball played in deep near Joran. Back in Kokolakis. That's a goal. It's 3 3. Unbelievable. Well, Richmond, they look to be down and out. They've been a little bit unlucky going into half time. They've taken their chances. Kokolakis had way too much space, John. South Melbourne's defence in tatters. I think the defence is falling apart, to be quite blunt, David. The, the ball looked like it was going out, but South assumed it was going out. Left uh, Nia Joran free there to head back to Kokolakis, who slams past Raganovic. 3 3 and deservedly for Richmond. Schroen with the free kick on target, but not going to get past the keeper. And Trying to quickly restore that lead, but no luck. He's played a cross field, and Adams, for the moment, deals with it. But they are just streaming forward in numbers at the moment. Barkadesh gets that one out wide eventually. Round Bradley Norton, Armenian. Barkadesh again, he'll get it back here, Armenian. Armenian left foot shots. Nice build up, but Raganovic deals with that one easily. Another set piece. Barkadesh sends it floating across the header, back across the face, shouts for a handball, and it is a penalty. Well, 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 disaster here for South Melbourne. Referee, no hesitation. They're about to take a spot kick, a chance for 4-3. And it looked like a handball to me, David. We'll see from the replay. Well, again, Matthew Miller with the arms up. Uh, you can't really dispute that. South players aren't disputing it, and it's Barkadesh with the spot kick. Barkadesh against his old side finds the back of the net and this game has gone 180 degrees John a nightmare for South Melbourne a 3-1 lead they are suddenly trailing 4-3 well for some reason David the defense has been crumbling in this second half and Richmond have deservedly taken the lead with a nicely taken penalty by Barkadesh it's time to change things up off comes Timmy Mahler on comes Limanopoulos need another striker out there Free kick goes short and just about through everybody. Still a chance there. Kokolakis across the face. And that could have very nearly been 5-3 there to Richmond. Arkadesh plays that one short. Looking for another ball in. They could just about kill off the tie the way they're going here. And well, Brian Brand, that should have been 5-3 in truth, John. All that time and space he had, he just couldn't get the connection. Well, we've seen Brian Brand bury this for South Melbourne in the past. And it was a golden opportunity to put his team two goals up. Unfortunately for him, he puts it over. Contesting, but they're just doing it so well at the moment. Richmond, South defence struggling to keep up. Armenian goes backwards. Now Barkadesh, he might use Armenian, decides to go it alone. Past Hatsi Costas, Kokilakis assesses. All the space and time for Barkadesh, and that's 5-3. And South Melbourne have crumbled. Richmond have flown right over the top of them. They've been irresistible in the last 20 minutes, John. And frankly, we've got no answers to this onslaught. Well, David, you can see the defence just opening up there once again for Barkadesh just to waltz through. It's a nice ball from Kokolakis to set up Barkadesh, and he strolls through and puts a pass for Gunovich for 5-3. At the moment, it just appears they're toying with South Melbourne, who are getting desperate. There's still time. Well, that's silly by Hatsi Costa. He gets himself a yellow card, kicking out there. And Nia Join, he's coming to Renman straight. He's got to be careful, John, because he's already on a yellow. And he started a bit of a melee here. The referee's going to want to have a look at this. Nia Joran, I think he's going to be in trouble. Yes, it's a second yellow. And Nick Nia Joran, he scored a crucial goal tonight. He's been very, very good. He'll be very disappointed with that. Kill the tie here, Richmond. The free kick off the crossbar, bouncing clear. Unbelievable. South Melbourne somehow still just alive. And it's the centre half in Roda who uh, had the own goal in the first half. It took a slight deflection off Matthew Miller, which probably saved South. It rattles the crossbar, and South just hanging on in this game. Miller's throw. Schroen flicks up. Great chance for Norton near post. Norton and parried away. And perhaps with that, the last chance for South Melbourne gone. It was a good opportunity for Norton. It was a nice flick from Schroen. In there, you can see he found the space, had time. Maybe should have used Lujic in the end. Disappointing outcome. Well, South with the man advantage, but Richmond still somehow doing all the attacking. And they might be made to pay. There could be a death blow coming here. A chance, the shot, and Raganovich saves that one at the near post. And they're still alive, the header. Not going to trouble the keeper that time. South Melbourne get away on the counter-attack. South really living dangerously, and Richmond really could have wrapped this up uh, at the near post. But luckily, Raganovich uh, makes an important save, sticks the right arm out. 
Last roll of the dice for Chris Taylor. There is just enough time to make something happen. Can Chris Irwin be the man to make it happen? Well, South, time has probably ticked a bit too far now. If something was going to happen, it probably had to happen already. And Hutsy Costas, well, he's gone right under that one, Hutsy Costas. Eager, he's missed as well. And it's going to be more pain here for South Melbourne. Flynn, he's through. The South defence nowhere in sight. Flynn charges through and pours a heap of salt on a very painful wound. Folks, 6-3, and finally the final whistle is blown, putting us out of our misery, John. What else can we say? Yeah, there's not much else you can say, David, other than the defence has opened up in the second half and Richmond have put a lot of pressure on us and have deservedly scored five goals in the last half an hour or so to win this game. And it's just been an absolute collapse from South. And Richmond has deservedly got the three points tonight. This week's Melbourne City Toyota Man of the Match Award goes to Marcus Schroen, who toiled hard despite the difficult conditions. I've got Nikola Raganovic here with me. He's a popular figure amongst fans. And uh, look, you're trying to keep a trying to keep your chin up here, Nicola, but fair to say this is a very difficult night for you and the rest of the playing group. Yeah, definitely. We came here to uh, hopefully get a good result and um, it didn't turn out that way. You know, we've, we've, we've had our good patches in games and we've been quite successful, but we have been also lucky at, um, at times. And I think tonight, uh, full credit to Richmond, they came out and, and gave 100% and that was, was first at every, at every ball, every second ball, they were always there. And I think, um, you know, can't put your finger down on one thing, but I think it's just more you know, lapse of concentration, little little one percenters that we kind of gave away the ball. Um, we, we let players kind of run into the box uh, unmarked, unmanned. Um, there was, I think, three one-on-ones plus a penalty. So up at halftime, three-one. You know, it's it's safe to say you should come away with a result. But you know, like I said, full credit to Richmond. They came back and and um, they beat us in the end. You know, after tonight's effort, it's gonna test a lot of characters in the, in the squad and, and hopefully we can bounce back and get some results in the next couple of weeks. Nicola, thanks very much for your time, mate. Uh, disappointing result for everyone tonight and hopefully hopefully we can bounce back for the players, the coaches, the fans and everyone involved. Yeah, definitely. Look, uh, again, uh, the fans are always fantastic coming out. Um, it was quite disappointing to kind of let them down. Um, you know, the club down, obviously, the coaching staff, that everybody's everybody's really disappointed. But uh, on behalf of the boys, I'd like to say thank you to the fans for always coming out and um, supporting the boys through thick and thin. We win, lose, or draw. So hopefully we can um, get back next week to winning ways and, and you know, um, make sure we represent South Melbourne the way it should be. I've got the coach, Chris Taylor, here with me. And, uh, Chris, we have to call a spade a spade. It was uh, a poor night for us tonight. Your reaction immediately after the game? Disgraceful. I mean, it's just not acceptable. Uh, five goals in the second half. I mean, I think it was conceded before today. Two goals at Bulleen all season. Uh, it's just disgraceful. I mean, the defending was really poor. Uh, the attitude, the effort, um, everything. I mean, I feel pretty let down. And, you know, I know most of the staff do as well. Um, we don't expect that from some of the boys, so um, yeah, there'll be a lot of soul searching going on over the weekend. And on that note, uh, during the week, you've got some big decisions to make. You've got a fairly long break before Hume, possibly Iki Jawadi to return if he's fit, but you think that maybe uh, a couple of players given an opportunity now, uh, given the, the status of this match? Without doubt, there'll be a lot of changes for next week, I can guarantee that. I think we have to have a look at you know how the players respond to, to certain things. Um, you know that they have to be accountable. That's what we spoke about in the dressing room afterwards. Um, you know they're the ones that have gone out there and performed so poorly. You know we, we've got fantastic support. Our supporters don't need that. You know we don't deserve it. You know people come out here to cheer us on. At least at least there should be some good attitude out there and, and effort and commitment. And there were none of that in the second half. Today wasn't acceptable by, by any stretch of the imagination. We're a, we're a better side than what we showed today. Uh, and if the players can't uh, live up to the expectations of wearing the shirt, then, uh, then they won't be wearing it anymore.